My God is not someone who says, you're good enough if, you're good enough when. My God does not have the face of a man. My God does not demand. My God does not speak in judgment. My God does not call me sinner for being born or expect me to bear no sin at all. My God is with me time and time again. My God did not condemn me to a world of sin. My God just asked that I live lovingly in all that I am. That rather than doing, desiring, trying, hiding, I simply enjoy being in all that I am. I've been told God was over there with the priests, with the church, with the Bible, with the holy, but God has never and could never be far from me at all. I've seen God in every stranger and I've seen God in me. I have known God in all things. See, I've been taught so many things about God that never seem to make much sense at all. I've been taught about a God full of power and punishment, one that is only accessed through paid worship, suffering, and services. I've been taught that man is good because of Adam and bad because of Eve. Well, what were the words of Eve or Mary Magdalene? We hear mention of women in the Bible, but their only voice is through song. Didn't women too come from God? See, they birth our prophets, our priests, and our Jesus after all, but yet we've known them for nothing else. I've been taught that the devil was once God's favorite angel, but what does that really mean? That God shows favoritism over you and me? That God could not see the devil and all he would be? That God's hands are not involved with free will or fate? I've been taught more betrayal in the Bible than loyalty. I've been told that even Jesus could not survive here. That even Jesus was killed by those who said they knew God the most. I've been taught that sex is dirty instead of our most sacred energy. That sexuality is shameful and yet this body was made so carefully. That we can both shame and praise someone for who they love. That we can put someone on a pedestal and then stone them for their human flesh. That divorce is unholy unless the man decides not to have you as his wife. That the church must have a say in everything and that they can get away with anything. That there I will find my redemption, my truth, and my forgiveness. My God does not contradict. My God is not rigid. My God is not man or woman. My God is found in both light and the dark. My God does not ask me to be perfect. My God does not condemn me to hell for a sin. Something as simple as circumcision would not keep me from the divine. My God does not say do this and do that and then I'll decide. My God is love for all things. My God is embedded in all of my being. My God is greater than any words that I could write. My God cannot be shrunken down to form or to size. 
While my God is so full of love and creation, my God is also in you and in I. My God is with you in your shadow and in your light. My God could not love you any less. My God could not love you any less in your annoyance, in your impatience, in your criticism, in your ego, your insecurity, or your amount of worthiness. My God could not love you any less. My God is love for all things.